was a night like any other night in the city. Hot and sticky. Great weather for a bug. Everyone's a bug in Motham City. Some good, some bad. Bad bugs are my business. I was sitting in my office eating some aphid lo mein when the phone buzzed. Zzz. Ace Lacewing, bug detective. Here's a creepy story filled with bug-eyed monsters. But be careful, don't fly to conclusions too quickly. Sometimes the crawling, slithery, sticky, icky critters that lurk in the mud do more than give you Lyme disease. Sometimes they produce true heroes, such as Ace Lacewing, Bug Detective, by David Bedresky. Bzzz. It was Mayor Busby. What's the buzz, Mr. Mayor? Ace, I'm at the high rise with Princess Pollen. Queenie Bee's been kidnapped. Get over here. Now. Queenie Bee kidnapped? Who would do a thing like that? Everyone loved Queenie and her sister. Princess Pollen. The High Rise Honey Company made the best honey in town. Maybe someone thought it was too good. I was just about to fly out the door when I saw her. Standing there, like a moth drawn to a flame. Actually, I was her flame, but she was no moth. Hello, Ace. Acey. She was that lovely, rare butterfly, Xerxes Blue. Dr. Xerxes Blue. And not the kind that takes your tonsils out. The kind who studies bugs. Dead bugs. Acey, how about dinner at my place tonight? I'm making your favorite. Aphids a la mode. The aphids will have to stew, sweetheart. Queenie Bee's in a honey of a jam. <gasps> oh, she's so sweet. Not like that sister of hers, Princess Pollen, the actress. Hey, they say her dance is hypnotic. Well, you keep your private eyes to yourself. Be careful, Ace. Downtown traffic was crawling. That's what traffic does in Motham. It really crawls. Hey, this is a crime scene. Can't you read the sign? Police, bug off. All I see is a sign that says slow love and play. Oh, it's you, Ace. Sergeant Zito, a mosquito and a cop. I've known him ever since we were pupa at the same school. What do you know, Zito? We have a couple of witnesses, Ace, but none of them talked except this little maggot. I saw the whole thing. I was crawling around minding my own business when all of a sudden I heard this screaming. At first I thought it was a damselfly in distress. But then I looked up. I saw them right outside the high rise. A couple of hooded bugs running off with Queenie Bee. Ace, you believe this maggot? How could he have seen anything? He doesn't have any eyes. Which way do they go? What do I look like? A tour guide? I should have known better than to ask directions from a bug with no arms or legs. Zito, round up the usual suspects. Wait, what's this? Just as I suspected. Honey, a trail of it. At the corner of tomato and vine, I stopped in my tracks. The honey trail led to the beetle zoo. Lacewings have lost their heads to beetles, but I was on a case. The honey trail led past the giraffe weevils. It was high rise honey, all right. It's still warm. I heard a noise, whack, and the world went to sleep. Wake up, Pacey. That was a nasty hit you took. Could have been worse. Could have been a windshield on the interstate. Where am I? The police station. Behind Sergeant Zito, Xerxes, and the maggot, a bunch of handcuffed roaches and other pests waited to be questioned. Everyone had an alibi. Except the roaches. They ran from the scene of the crime. Of course, it was their nature to scatter when the lights go on. We decided to call it a night. The full moon hung in the sky like a large compound eye as we left the police station. A voice whispered from the shadows. Psst, hey, Lacewing, I know who's got Queenie, and why. Who are you? 
a drone who knows the truth. But there are too many eyes and too many antenna around here. Let's go someplace private and talk. We never got the chance. It happened quick as a cricket. Drive by gassing, hit the dirt. But it was too late for the bee. I couldn't make out the driver, but the other bug was no doubt a bombardier beetle. I could tell by the smell. I wondered if he had a license to pass gas. Ace, I think I've got a buzz on this drone, but it's weak. Ace, drone honey works. Uh, drone. Al the drone, Al the drone. Oh no, not Al the drone. Please don't let it be Al the drone. Anyone but him. Ace, who's Al the drone? How the drone owns drone honeyworks. Some bugs say he has sticky little mandibles in more than just honey. I think we ought to pay Mr. Drone a visit. Xerxes, see what you can do for this sap. Come on, Dito, let's go. Outside drone honeyworks, the smell of honey hung thicker in the air than ants on a popsicle stick. Savage and mantises kept guard. I got a bad feeling about this one, Zito. The back gate of the zoo is right outside the honeyworks. And look, the honey trail. We need a way in. But how? Two dung beetles were making their way up the street, rolling their dung ball and collecting trash. They rolled up next to us. Those dung beetles are uh, too busy to notice us. You thinking what I'm thinking? Oh no, Ace, not the dung. We leapt into the dung ball and rolled right past the mantis into the honeyworks. I peered inside a window and saw something that made my antenna quiver. In the shadows, someone was tied up and blindfolded. <gasps> Is it Queenie? She's sure not getting the royal treatment here. Ace, we got company. The mantises must have followed our dung tracks. Move and nobody get dirt. Much. Hey boss, look what I found crawling around outside. Well, well. If it isn't a little lace wing in his. Blood sucking friend. That's a common misconception. Actually, it's the females. Ow! You'll never get away with this, the drone. Funny. That is the same thing Queenie said. And look where she is now. Trapped in honeycomb. But wait. If Queenie is in the honeycomb, who's in the other room? Any last words, Lacewing? Yeah. I smell pollen. And since when do drones collect pollen? Al the drone. Or should I say, Princess Pollen? And the exoskeleton! Wow, you're clever! But why? Because I want to be queen silly, so I'll like frame out the drone for her dad. And with Queenie and Drone Honeyworks gone, I'll like be the queen of this place. But first, it's time to swat a few pests. Bad. Like, what? Actually, butterfly. This place is surrounded by every cop from here to termite heights. It's over, princess. We still on for those aphids, Daisy? Looks like you've saved my wings again, baby. Dawn was emerging like a monarch from a chrysalis when Xerxes and I sat down for a plate of aphids alimone that night. Here's to blue wings and my favorite things. And the city of Motham fluttered awake behind her.